All right, so hi. In this example, we're gonna talk about uh, average arterial pressure, so kind of blood pressure related problem. And so here it is. Uh, so you have been invited to a health research team that is trying to better approximate the average pressure. All right, so we have an average pressure right here. So that's gonna be our variable, okay, that we're going to use. For a particular set of patients, the average pressure is dependent on the systolic, all right, so that is systolic pressure and then diastolic pressure. Readings, okay, so there's two readings that we always take for blood pressure. Okay, one is when the heart is pumping and then when it's relaxing. So over a span of several months, the team has come up with an approximate formula. So this is some formula that they have come up with. And so here it is. So we have this particular formula for our average pressure. Now, all the readings are in millimeters of mercury. So on one occasion, a patient had an average pressure reading. So here is 101. If you know that the patient's diastolic is 82 millimeters of mercury, then what was the systolic pressure? So it looks like we're gonna be looking for, okay, PS. So let's write down the givens. So whenever I tackle word problems, I'll write down and break down the givens. So we certainly have been given the actual formula, which is extremely helpful to us. So here is our formula, plus three over five PD. Now, we also have been given the average, so the actual average, which is equal to 101 millimeters of mercury. We have been given the diastolic one, so PD, that is 82 millimeters of mercury. And now we're looking for the systolic one. So this is the one that we're gonna be trying to find out. So sometimes, you know, you might put a let statement just to let somebody know, um, or, you know, you can just actually write something like this and um, try to find it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in this question. So since I have all the information, I have actually the entire formula, so that is super helpful. So I'm gonna be using substitution. So I'm gonna take this, let me maybe change the color. So I'm gonna take this and substitute everything in. So in terms of substitution, so what I have is my P average is 101. Notice I do have consistency in units because both are in millimeters of mercury. I don't have PS, so I'm gonna leave this alone, but I do have, I'm gonna substitute in here for PD and that is 82. So now this problem is basically trying to isolate and solve for PS. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here. Okay, so next, so two over five, I'm gonna leave it as it is. Um, now the, so I apologize, I noticed right here, so this should have been three, okay, because that's three. So three over five, 82, okay, so let's do that. So this is gonna be, so three times 82, and divided by five, so that's 49.2. 49 this is gonna be 101. Now we're gonna bring this term over to the other side. So now that as we bring it over, so I'm gonna have 101 minus 49.2 equals to two over five PS. So 101 minus 49.2, so that's gonna be 51.8 is equal to two over five PS. Now, two over five, to get rid of that two over five, I can multiply both sides. You can always change it also to a decimal in, in this question, all right, it just says round answer to the one. So I mean, we can round the whole things as well, so we'll do that at the end. So now, you know, you can do that because it would cancel this out but of course you also have to do it over on the other side. And this would give you the result for PS. So PS is, so it's five, okay, so times 51.8, and that is divided by two. 
So now we're going to take that and divide it by 2. You can take the fraction as a whole if you like, because 5 over 2 is just 2.5. So this is 129.5. Now it did say, so 129.5, but it did say round to the 1 or to the whole number. So I'm going to round it. So this is going to be 130. And then don't forget the unit. So that's what we have. All right, so here, let me just show you here as the image was uh, in the way. That's how you would actually solve this particular problem. All right, so thanks for watching. We'll see you on another one.